The color property is a little vague. By its name alone, it isn't communicating the fact that it only applies color to text. And so really the color property is a typography property, what with it only applying color to text. If the need to add a color to the background of an element arose, we would require the use of a different color property, the background color property, which I'll add on my H1 rule set and set it to yellow. When I save, we see the background of our heading is now yellow. This background color was applied behind our hello world text, and we see it covers the entire width and height of our heading. This is because backgrounds are always applied behind the contents of an element, and backgrounds always covers the entire width and height of the element it is being applied on. Now I'm actually going to comment out my background color for one moment, and in my live server, I'm going to open my developer tools. If you don't know, to open Chrome's DevTools, one way to do so is by right-clicking anywhere on the page and then clicking on Inspect. Within the Elements panel of our DevTools is our HTML neatly laid out for us. I'll expand the body element and I'll hover over my H1 element. We see when I hover over my H1 element, a blue overlay becomes visible over the element we're currently hovering over. In addition to the blue overlay, an orange overlay is also appearing above and below the blue overlay. We can ignore this orange overlay for now. They represent margins and are therefore beyond the scope of this lesson. But if we focus on the blue overlay, we see it occupies the entire width and height of our element. And when I uncomment our background color property and save, we see our yellow background occupies the exact same space. However, here's a strange anomaly about CSS. I'll comment out my background color again, and on my DevTools, instead of hovering over my H1 element, if I instead hover over the body element, we see the blue overlay covers over all of the content inside our body element. In my index.html, I'll copy my H1 element and paste it two more times. When I save, we now have more headings in our page, and on my DevTools, when I hover over the body element, the blue overlay covers all of the content to be found inside the body element. It is then strange, however, that when I add a background color to the body element of, say, purple, and save, we see, somewhat unexpectedly to what we have come to expect from previous usage of the background color property, our purple background on the body element applied itself over the entire document, spanning way past the confines of the content area represented by the blue overlay. Well, why? After all, if I uncomment the yellow background color on our H1 elements and save, we see this yellow background doesn't leak outside the confines of the content area of our H1 elements, but applied on the body element, the behavior deviates from what we have come to expect and the background fills the entire viewport. Now the single source of truth for any lingering questions is always the official spec, the World Wide Web Consortium, or W3C, official standard for CSS and it specifies that a background applied on the root element becomes the canvas background, and its painting area extends to cover the entire canvas. Our root element is the HTML element, but in the absence of a background directly applied on the HTML element, a background applied on the body element is treated as if it were applied on the root element, which is why applying a background color to the body element extends to cover the entire viewport. In my CSS, if I select the HTML element, which we know to be the root element, and give it a background color of, say, blue, and save, we see a background applied directly on the root element takes precedence over the background applied on the body element. And when I remove my HTML rule set, the background given to the body is treated as if it were applied on the root element, and therefore extends past its content area to fill the entire viewport. Now, as a best practice, when you want a full page background, never apply it on the HTML element. Always apply it on the body element. This best practice is even recommended by the spec authors themselves.